Hello, I am Amanie Kim. I am heading innovation for the IDEMIA Group. <music> Biometric data is the measurement of the living. It can be iris, facial recognition or fingerprints, for instance. The idea behind every biometric system is to try to minimize the data we store because it is highly sensitive and highly personal. One key principle, for instance, is that instead of taking the picture of a fingerprint, for instance, and storing it, we transform it into what we call the biometric template. It's a mathematical representation generated by our algorithms. In some use cases, you only need to store this biometric template. For instance, if you want to unlock your smartphone, the data is on your phone and you only have the biometric template. But think about the movies that we've all seen with forensic applications. When a fingerprint is found on a crime scene, we compare it against a central database and you always have an expert who needs to compare the match and to double check it manually. In that case, you do need to have the reference image itself and not only the template. <music> Governments and companies who do hold biometric data are very controlled. More and more regulations such as GDPR are issued to ensure that your data is managed with the right level of security and privacy. This means that you can have the right to delete it, access it, revoke it. Last but not least, the data is usually stored only during the necessary duration for the service to be operated. As I just said, biometric data is really managed securely. Service providers, you could think about banks or government entities having access to your biometric data, have strict controls in place. For instance, when your biometric data is embedded into your ID document, whether your ID card or your passport, the chip used to store it is certified under the most stringent schemes. Manufacturers like IDEMIA also have a key role to play. First, by minimizing the data stored into the biometric system, as I mentioned earlier, but also by always investing into developing new solutions built with privacy by design. For example, you could think about having your biometric data encrypted with a key that only you have, so that any theft of a central database would be useless. We all as users can also fight against theft. Just as we wouldn't buy online a website which is not secure, we can also think about who we are giving our bi biometric data to and why. <music>